Art is one of my favorite things, but guess what? None of these images you're seeing on the screen were created by a human. They are all created by AI or artificial intelligence. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to create hundreds of pieces just like these. So make sure you watch to the end so you can do that yourself. You might be thinking, well, I don't know anything about artificial intelligence or coding, so I won't be able to do this. But I promise you, if you can just write a simple sentence, you'll be able to create these pieces and they'll be beautiful. And it's all thanks to this tool, Midjourney. Midjourney is an independent research lab exploring new mediums of thought, and their AI software allows you to type a simple sentence to a Discord bot, and seconds later, you'll have four AI-generated images about that prompt. It's so freaking cool. Let's go ahead and try it out. Start by going to midjourney.com. Then go ahead and press join the beta. This will enter Discord and you just need to hit continue or accept. Inside the Discord, you'll get a getting started message, and basically all you need to do is go to one of the newbie channels, which will be on the left-hand side, type backslash imagine, and then whatever you want. The bot will then send you four images in 60 seconds. Click numbered buttons underneath to get upscales or variations. This beta free trial will give you around 25 free queries, and then you'll be able to buy a different membership with different pricing tiers. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and press slash imagine, and what do I want to imagine? Well, maybe I'll say a young man on a computer at a desk looking happy hit enter let's see if this runs okay so it says waiting to start right here so we're going to watch that here for a second and see what happens to it okay you'll see that it's three percent done it has these four images right here can't really tell what's happening quite yet okay there we go we got a young man on the computer now we see some faces looks like maybe a computer here lots of dark hair is what i'm noticing Okay, we're moving up in the world. We have a computer. Looks like maybe two computers here. Maybe an afro on this one. That's pretty cool. Okay, we're getting a little bit more developed. A little bit more developed. And uh, this one's kind of abstract down here at the bottom. I didn't really give it an art description, but I think these are kind of cool. Check these out. We got some... Some of the hair is all kind of similar, I guess. Wow, this one's turning out really nice in the bottom left. That one looks... Pretty realistic, actually. Okay, and there you go. It is done. So I have a couple different uh, options here. All of it's really cool. I actually really like all of it. So if I had to choose one that was my favorite, I don't know, maybe this one. <laughs> this one's kind of weird. So if I wanted to get a bigger version of that, what I could do is go back to the Discord right here, click off this, and I could say upscale one, and that would then create a larger version of upscale one. I'm gonna make sure that I click on this, open the original, and go ahead and save it image as. I'll say this young man at computer. So here's our finished product. And it's kind of interesting. I didn't really give it any specific painting or art style. I just gave it a prompt and it created this super cool. I wanna show you just a couple other prompts and images just so you can get a feel for it. So someone said cyberpunk Freddy Krueger, and this is what they got. Those are pretty cool. Okay, we got a camel hybrid with elephant, ultra detail. Those are pretty scary looking, to be honest, wow. Energy drink can rocks in dark jungle with neon lights, photorealistic, atmospheric. Wow, maybe we're doing some ad campaigns here. Charizard Pokemon Game of Thrones dragon, cinematic, realistic. Wow, that is cool. Cute, smiling, 3D rendered sheep. That is a little scary. Beautiful man with snake eyes at night. That's pretty cool. Castle, Kingdom of Inferno, Bright Moon. These are awesome. Beaver holding a chainsaw, realistic. That is impressive. So hopefully now you see how powerful this potentially could be. And where I see this being used is I'm sure there's people making NFT projects with this generated art. Artists are getting into this generated art. I think it could be huge for branding. We saw that like can inside of like the, the river on the rocks and stuff like that. Maybe some marketing. I saw people doing album covers potentially using this tool. So I think anytime you've used some sort of art, cover photos, you know, podcast episode, those types of things, you could potentially be using this tool. If you're into cool applications of artificial intelligence and machine learning just like this, you might also be interested in these videos. I'm doing 30 data science projects in 30 days. We've done cool things like analyze NFTs, look at a word cloud of an episode of The Office, and a lot of cool things, so definitely check it out. All right, see you tomorrow.